Hi everyone and uh, welcome to lecture number 5 in Terraform for Cloud Engineers series. Today I'll be talking about uh, Terraform provider for Google Cloud and uh, Terraform registry on a basic level and how you can make use of Terraform registry to just get to know about Google Cloud resources, modules and other things. So let's get started. I would like to show you the Terraform registry page first and uh, let's go to Google. Let's search for Terraform registry. And uh, it will take you to Terraform registry.terraform.io. That's the official one. Yeah, this is the one. And this is the Terraform registry page. You can go and um, explore this page because this is quite important because everything which you'll be deploying on Google Cloud, mostly in the industries, you'll be using Terraform most of the time. So as you can see, if we have just click on browse provider, we can see all the popular providers like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Kubernetes, Alibaba Cloud, Oracle Cloud, and many more as such. So let's go to Google Cloud because we'll be interested in Google Cloud as such. And this is the Google provider on a high level. And you can read through the description like lifecycle management of GCP resources, including Compute Engine, Cloud Storage, Cloud SDK, Cloud SQL, GKE, BigQuery, Cloud Function, and many more. So this provider is collaboratively maintained by Google Terraform team at Google and team at Hashicorp. So if you want to know more about a uh, provider, Google provider, this is like how you can make use of Google Provider. This is the code. Um, we'll talk about Terraform uh, Provider for Google uh, in the next video. In this video, I'm just trying to familiarize with this Terraform registry page so that you get an idea where to look out for the things. So if you are new about the Terraform, you can go and read more about uh, every single option just to get more insights um, of Terraform registry page. And now we can go to documentation, which is like uh, Google provider documentation, as you could see, Google Cloud Platform Provider. And on the left-hand side, you can see all the resources like API, Gateways, uh, Anthos, BigQuery, Cloud Stack, driver, cloud build, and many more functions, many more services, sorry. So from here, if you want to know more about compute, just type compute resource and uh, you can see Google Cloud Compute and uh, many more resources like Google Compute Disks, Google Compute Firewall. If I just click on it, you can read through this document and you can also see the example usage. This is quite important how you can create a uh, firewall in GCP and the attributes, the key and the value you can see over here as an example. And you can refer the argument over here, like which are all arguments are required, like name is required, network is required, allow for is optional, deny is optional, and many more. And you can also read through the attribute references, how you can reference this uh, attribute, and which are all attribute you can reference. So this is all more on the resource side for Google provider. And basically, and this is the Terraform registry page provided by HashiCorp and Google. And if you want to know more about modules, you can just click over here and go to modules. You can select the cloud which you are interested in. In our case, we are interested more on Google. So it shows all Google 
uh, cloud platform module. So you can see when it was published, how many people have downloaded this, and many more things. So if we can take an example of uh, network modules, just click on it, how you can set up VPC networks. If you want to see directly the code, you can just go to this source code. Let me open it in a new tab for you. And basically, you can read through this readme first to get more idea about it, how they have structured this code. Like if I go to main.tf, you can see this is the v module for VPC, VPC configuration, subnet configuration, how you can add the routes, how you can add uh, firewall rules, and so on. So just familiarize with this. And if you want to see sub-modules, you can just click over here, like network peering, uh, subnets, VPC, serverless connector. You can just read through it. And if you want to use this module, you can just copy this because you could see they have mentioned this source over here uh, as this. And it should be mostly this. If you could see Terraform dash Google dash module um, network and Google. Yeah, which we have seen already. If I just go in here again. They might have mentioned how you can use this. You can go to the example folders and However, the usage of this module could be like this. You just you just need to copy this code in your main.tf file and perform the following commands like Terraform init, plan, apply. And if you want to destroy, you can destroy this. Which inputs are supported? What's their type? You can get everything uh, upon this page. Which are all outputs available? subnet inputs and every single detail, requirements, how you can configure a service account, how you can enable uh, APIs. So everything you can get from this. I hope this was helpful in getting to know about the Terraform registry. And if I go back, if I just go to providers, it will be Google and uh, that we have seen already. If I click on use Terraform Cloud for free, this is not the discussion for this uh, training, but I'm just showing you Terraform do offer a Terraform Cloud as uh, we're in single workflow uh, across multiple providers to save time, write infrastructure as a code, reuse configuration to reduce mistakes. Uh, if you want, you can <coughs> create a free account with this and uh, make use of Terraform Cloud. But this is not uh, of my interest for this session, but I just thought to show you. So if I go back, and you should know about this registry because if you want to configure any resources, uh, like for example, cloud storage, if I just go over here and click on storage bucket, this is the code uh, example. You can go through it if you want to see uh, the argument references, click on it, read through the description, and uh, get familiarized with all the resources. So we're going to see most of the resources uh, using Terraform and the Google Cloud. But for this video, I just thought to give you an overview of uh, Terraform registry page, and uh, I hope it was informative. Let me know your questions in the comment section if there are any. And I'll see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching.